welcome to this course that fundamentals of cryo electron microscopy and 3D image processing in structural biology. I am Dr. Somna Datta from Molecular Biophysics Unit, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, India. I did my PhD in cryo electron microscopy from NYSED, Kolkata. And then I moved University of Michigan and completed my postdoctoral training and where I used again the cryo-electron microscopy. So far I have almost 20 years research experience in cryo-electron microscopy. So today I am going to discuss about that why I decided to start this course. So here an electron microscopy is a crucial method for visualizing biological macromolecules including DNA, protein, RNA, liposome, DNA protein cages, cell, viruses and many more. And we can get a very high resolution and highly magnified images. One of the most advanced form of the electron microscopy is cryo electron microscopy where we use transmission electron microscope in at cryogenic temperature to observe the biological macromolecules or soft matter. Basically cryo electron microscopy was evolved last 10 years drastically and it changed the entire structural biology field which is helping us to determine the three dimensional structure of protein, DNA, RNA, cell, bacteria, viruses and the cellular organelles at near atomic resolution to atomic resolution. So there are lots of resources and textbooks are available for the electron microscope but most of these books are focused on material science purposes and they are majorly focused the instrumentation part, mathematical formula and there are some books are available where majorly focus on how to prepare the biological samples. But there is a gap between these two part that okay how the biologists are using this instrument, how we can use it for biological sample, how we can image that part is missing. So, this particular course is going to bridge between these two because we should know our instrument properly and then we also know how to prepare those samples and how we can use our instrument properly to image those biological samples and we can get maximum information from there. So, this course will focus on some technical details about the TIM and cryo -EM, as well as a major focus on biological sample preparation imaging, good and bad practices during the sample preparation and data collection and also learn what is called a good data or bad data and how we can improve the data quality. So, here the course I am trying to keep it as simple as that. So, there should not be too much mathematical formulas, but definitely there will be a component where we will discuss about the instrument as well as how image formation is happening and then how we can use those techniques for biological sample preparation and finally, a small part will be how we can analyze those data and how we can determine the three dimensional structure from those data. So, this course will be total 24 hours lecture and then I will arrange a workshop type classes that will be another 5 to 6 hours where I will just show you the practical aspect of how to handle normal TEM as well as cryo electron microscope, what component do we have inside the microscope, how we can use the vitrobot to prepare our cryo sample, 
how do we prepare our room temperature biological samples. So, it will cover from tissue samples to DNA protein RNA samples and then next when you will do cryo electron microscopy how do we prepare our grids and how do we load our grids and how do we image our sample. So, that component I am going to cover in 5 to 6 hours classes. So, here the total 12 modules is distributed where as I mentioned previously that I am going to focus some basic working principle of different types of microscope including electron and light microscope. Instrumentation details about TEM and SEM and their electron sources, various types of aberration of the lens and then image formation, ray diagram to understand how we are getting a getting an image. Then little bit about the contrast transfer function, electron scattering, phase contrast, electron specimen interaction and electron diffraction. Finally, this is the part where we will discuss about the sample preparation for TEM and cryoEM and cryoEM data processing and 3D reconstruction. Here some books are listed here. One of the important book I am going to follow this is the this number 4 book and Brozola is the another book where we, we use this uh, book for understanding the technique as well as the TEM sample preparation. So, this is the book that Yakim Frank book that you can see this is mainly focusing on the 3D structure determination. So, entire course we are going to follow uh, some of these books. So, this course is specially designed for final year UG students, PG students, PhD students, postdocs and sometime we can see lots of researchers from industry are using cryoEM for their research purposes. They can also use this class and that will be a um, uh, basic start point for all the researchers and student. And I hope you all will enjoy uh, this course and I will see you guys in my next lecture and that will be my first lecture. Thank you all. Thank you.